I'm Tom and this is my seventh video for the Printabout Simple Metal Kit. In the last video we finished up the Y-axis. In this video we're going to clean up the wiring because as you can see there's still quite a bit of wiring to do. Before we can start connecting all the components to the printer's mainboard we're going to tidy up the wiring a bit first. So we're going to start it with all the wires from the extruder head. Those are inserted into the hole on the top side of the printer's main body. For that we're going to use one of the included rubber grommets and push each of the connectors through that. Start with the larger connectors first and push the smaller ones like the two wire connector from the fan through last. You can then insert all the wires and connectors into the hole in the printer's main body. Again, start out with the larger ones and finish off with the smaller ones. Then push the rubber grommet into the hole and you might need to help it out a little bit from the back side. The rubber grommet protects the wires from rubbing on the sharp edges of the metal parts. For the wiring of the Y-arm we're going to do the same thing, we're going to start out with a rubber grommet and then push the wires into the back hole of the printer's case and insert the rubber grommet into that as well. Next up we're going to tidy up the wires with the included wire wrap and make sure your wires always have enough length to never be under tension during a print. Move the Z and Y axis to their far out positions and then give the wires a bit of extra lead. Then cut off a part of the wire wrap and wrap up the extruder cables and the cables off the Y axis. After that's finished we can start connecting all the components to the mainboard. And we're going to start out with the connections for the Z probe. Plug the black, red and yellow connector into the U1 connector on the probe adapter and then connect the black and yellow one to the Z connector on the mainboard. The wire from the probe itself goes to the U2 connector on the probe adapter. All these connectors are polarized so don't worry about plugging them in backwards. Next you can connect the main power connector. Make sure that no snaps into place nicely. Then connect the X end stop to the X stop connector. That's the one that's sitting under the print bed. And then connect the Y end stop to the Y stop connector. That's the one that's sitting on the Y arm. The two pin connector for the extruder's heating element goes to the extruder connector. And the hot ends thermistor goes to the ETEMP connector on the other side of the board. The fan on the hot end is connected right next to the thermistor. Make sure that none of the wires are going to get in your way. In my case the best option was to route the thermistor and fan cables over the top of the board. Next up we can connect the stepper motor cables. Now these connectors are not polarized so take care to plug them in the right way around. The X motor cable has the blue cable pointing towards the back of the printer. The Y motor cable has the blue cable pointing towards the front of the printer. The motor from the Z axis has the blue wire pointing towards the back of the printer and the connector from the extruder has the blue wire pointing towards the front of the printer. At this point we've connected all the components to the mainboard. Make sure that all the connections are in all the way and we can then go on to route the wires through the printer's base. Now the printer box case has a cutout right next to the electronics just for that purpose through which you can insert all the wires and then close off that cutout with a zip tie. Again you don't want to tie any wires down here, you just want to close off that slot. And what I like to do next is to tie all the wires together right after the point where they pass through that cutout. Now there is no one-size-fits-all solution for cleaning up the rest of the wiring. 
but generally try to tie them together as much as possible without getting any of the wires under permanent tension. Just make sure that none of the wires are sticking out the side of the printer or are hanging into any moving parts. So that's already looking much nicer. In the next videos we're going to look at what software you'll need to install to get your printer running and how to get it ready for your first print.